Hey everyone, I'm Eric from Evergreen Media, and today I'm here to share with you a little bit about how you are able to use the content that we create in a consistent basis for maximum impact. We have developed a content map. It's a graphic that we use as a springboard so that you can get an idea of what it's like to use your content in a myriad of ways for maximum effect. So I have the content map here and we're just gonna go through a little bit of details that you can see here on the content map. So basically the bulk of what we're talking about is evergreen content. Now we do have a page on our website going over what evergreen content is. And so if you're curious about that, we have that available for you, but evergreen content, just the short of it, is content that you are able to use on a consistent basis in regular fashion to promote what we call pillar values, your flagship things that you want to make sure that your audience knows about that are at the forefront and the storefront of your business, your brand, your nonprofit, whatever your message is, you want tons of evergreen content to be able to communicate that well. And so when we're talking about what is a piece of evergreen content that lies here at the center of this content map. That could be any number of things. So here I have an example of what evergreen content might look like. This is a overview video for one of our clients, 10 Talents Foundation, where they are sharing about their mission to affect real change through generous giving to faith-based nonprofits and different organizations, utilizing the generous givers of this area to affect real change. And so we have this piece of content that they are able to use. Here's another example of evergreen content from another one of our clients, The Meetup, created to share a little bit about their community efforts in Fresno, what they do to partner with other local organizations and businesses for the best product, for the best effect that they want to have for their customers and in their local community. So this whole video is about community. It's about the ways in which they are generating a culture and a community in their local neighborhood. And so this, this is another piece of evergreen content that they're able to use on a regular basis. Just some other examples before we get into the content map of this, for example, this is with a church that we worked with. They have an event called Rise. It's a youth event that they have on a regular basis. And this is a promo for that event that they're able to use on a regular consistent basis to share about that event whenever it comes up. And they can use this really to talk about the impact, give a little bit of insight into what that event is like. And so we created a piece of content that they're able to use on a regular basis to promote the RISE event, the RISE youth event. And again, for the same client, we have also created a piece of evergreen content. It is basically capturing the vision of their church. It goes over the previous years that they have been a church and kind of recaps that, recaps that in a way that is meaningful to the church members and people, maybe even people who have not been introduced to the church before, but are getting to know it, getting to know what they're about and what they have been about in the past. So they have their main pastor here talking about where they've been and ultimately where they're going in future years. So they're able to use Use this in an evergreen way in any variety of settings to cast that vision of where they've been and where they're going. And they're doing that, again, the, the main point is that they're doing that in an evergreen fashion. They're able to use this, not just in a one-time instance, but they're able to use this on a repeated basis. Okay, so going back to our content map, now that I've shown you a little bit about what evergreen content looks like, again, that's gonna be photo, video, audio, that could be podcasts, it could be promo videos, it could be overview videos, it could be interviews, it could be really any piece of content that you can use on a regular basis, communicating your pillar values. This content is flagship, meaning it's stuff that you're always referring back to as kind of the thing that's pointing you in the right direction. It's the stuff that people are immediately seeing when they encounter your branding and your messaging. Okay, so we've got a single piece of evergreen content that's here. Now there's a multitude of ways in which you can use that content. And that's what the content map here is for, is to outline the ways in which you can use the content. These are use case instances. So to start out with, obviously, the most instinctual way that you can use your content would be 
on your website. So your website really is your branding hub. It's your home base for all of your resources. It's basically your centralized digital identity and it's really where action steps are taken. When people are really looking into what you're doing, they're going to your website. This is where they go to figure out what you're all about. And so that's why a content rich site has multitudes of evergreen content. It has a catalog of evergreen content that is basically featuring all of your different pillar values and the things that you want people to know about. You want that all on your website. You don't want just website copy, but you really want content that people can interact with and be motivated to feeling actions. They want to be motivated to take an action step through emotional responses to whatever moving content you're creating that really is is motivating response so again your website is your branding hub so on pages like your home page or your landing page your about page your services page if you're a church your ministry pages these are the pages in which you would want a video for every page with content that you can use in an evergreen fashion whatever subject or topic of the website page is also in addition to that you definitely want to be utilizing seo rich blog posts what does that mean that means search engine optimized that's what seo means search engine optimized blog posts that is regular new content on your website that is optimized for search engines so that if people are searching out things having to do with your field of expertise or your sphere of influence, they're finding your website through these blog posts. The blog posts don't have to be walls of text. They don't have to be books. These blog posts really are just ways in which your website is generating through the systems of Google and different search engines. Your website is being flagged as something that is posting on a regular basis. And so when you have SEO rich blog posts with evergreen content on them, it means that you have something that is being regularly updated. That is your website with new blog posts that have interactive content, things like videos and photos that people can go and watch and appreciate. And again, ultimately have this motivated response through the action steps that they take on your website. Going from SEO blog posts, the other important thing to note is that when you have SEO rich blog posts, this gives you a direct opportunity to have content for your email list. So you have a blog post that goes up on your website, or again, maybe it's a single page, whether it's your about or your services, along with content on it. The blog directs people to sign up for your email list and your emails link back to your blog posts. So they both reference each other. The thing about emails that's really effective is that you're getting directly into people's inboxes. So when people wake up in the morning, when they are looking into their inbox, they're looking into what updates that they need to hear in their life, you're landing in their inbox with your information so that they can keep it in their brain what you're doing. So you have evergreen content that is featured on your website in your SEO rich blog posts, but also you know, that content is being showcased in your email list and in the emails that you're sending out. So if we're thinking again about the examples that I shared, the vision of the church, or we're talking about community at this business, this is a topic for your email list. What is community like at this business? Or what is the vision of our church? Here's an email. Maybe your email list is monthly. It's every other week, maybe. Here is a topic for your email that you have a piece of content attached to it that people can interact with. And it really elevates your email. It really elevates what you're trying to communicate. It elevates your message in a way that makes people know that you really are serious about what you're doing, that you have a piece of interactive content that will motivate them in a feeling response. So from your email list, you also are able to link directly to your social media and vice versa. Your social media directly links to signups for your email list. So as you know, social media increases your brand awareness. It helps you build a relationship with your target audience, maybe newcomers to what you're doing. It drives your followers to your website and you're able to inspire public engagement, whether it's comments or likes or sharing with different people. So you want your evergreen content optimized and posted to social media. So if we're talking about the vision of the church, we're talking about community, we're talking about a, an overview video regarding this foundation, we're optimizing that for social media and we're posting to social media. And the call to action in your social media post is referencing either people to engage with that post, linking back to your blog, linking back to your email list. Again, this is an interconnected web of use cases for your content. So just to reiterate, 
you have your evergreen content that is landing on every page of your website. It's you know going in so many different places so that you can use it on multiple occasions. It's being showcased in your direct email list where you have a topic for each email that also is linking back to a blog post. You have your emails that are going, uh, that are linking and prompting people to check out what you're doing on social media, vice versa. Your social media is going back to your email and back to your website. Your call to action in social media either is to engage with the social media posts or ultimately to visit links, to go back to your email list, to go back to your website so that people can take action steps. And then finally, I would say that social media invites people to in-person events or conferences or different things, gatherings that you might be holding. And then your in-person events plugs your social media connection as well as plugs your website that helps people to take greater action steps when they visit your website after they have visited you in person. And it's the same case. Evergreen content can be used in person, in in in-person events, whether you're holding a fundraising event, whether you're holding conferences, if you're talking about photos and you want to have great displays of, you know, infographics and what's going on, a live showing of the videos that you've produced, telling of testimonial stories, whatever content you're creating, it can also be used in person. So not just on your website, in your email list, on your social media, but also in person. And as you can see, this whole map is built so that everything references itself. Everything is pointing to each other. Everything is being able to be used in a a myriad of ways, but you're ultimately using the single piece of content. You're ultimately using the same topic to promote in all of these different ways. So if we go back to the examples, um, we're talking about the vision of the church community or the story of this foundation. What you're able to do is you're able to say, Here's the community at this business. Here's our featuring that on the website, on a page or in a blog post. That is getting people to sign up for our email list where we're also sharing about it in our email list. We're also sharing a little bit about our social media. We're also sharing a little bit about in person. With all of that, people really are able to see what are those pillar values? What are the things that you're sharing in all of these occasions? What are these things that you're really wanting to communicate? You're able to use all of these circumstances, all of these different platforms to share one singular message. And that really is going to be one of the pillar values of your business. That is really the goal of evergreen content. It's content that you're able to use in all these ways so that you are able to maximize your impact, maximize your effect, and do it in a way that is ultimately helpful to you because you are able to be equipped with something that works in all of these settings, not just in a one-time use case, but in all of these settings, it points back to the main messaging that you wanna communicate for your business. So that was a little bit about our content map. If you get in touch with us and if you want to partner with us, we are gonna talk more about this in depth. This is one of the things that we use to map ahead our plan for our partners, the things in which we're thinking about is included in here and all of our conversations ultimately come down to this is how are you able to use creative content, moving inspirational content in a myriad of ways to maximize impact, ultimately saving you money because you're not creating so many projects that are only one-time use case, but you're able to use one project in a myriad of ways for maximum effect. So thank you so much for taking the time to listen to a little bit about what we're doing and the ways in which we like to support our clients with evergreen content. And we hope that you get in touch with us. We would love to talk with you a little bit more about this and the ways in which we can partner to maximize your impact and ultimately have a positive impact on the world and in the culture. Thank you so much for watching and we'll talk to you soon. 